is meant for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. And it is Loveline. Again, that number is 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Very exciting evening today. Yeah. Why don't you introduce our guest? Oh, I don't know. A little guy who started off his career in the space rock band Hawkwind many years ago, but you probably know him best for the close to 35 years as the only static member of a band called Motorhead. The image of his silhouette holding that, that Rickenbacker bass, that alone is enough to push yours up my spine. I'm a... Uh, you romantic fool. <laughs> The modern Jesus. Yeah. Well, to be honest, it's fucking Jesus Christ. Motorhead is my life. Without Lenny, they'd be like Motorhead, there'd be no Metallica, no Megadeth, no Slayer, nothing. There wouldn't be any of the heavy metal we have today. Rock and roll, he's Lemmy. Lemmy, he's rock and roll. Rock, rock and, and roll. roll. Hey, babe, don't act so scared. All I want is a special care. If I hear Motorhead, um, I will bang the whole time. <laughs> Lemmy is God. They drop a nuclear bomb on this planet. Lemmy and cockroaches yeah, is all that's going to survive. Move over for a damage case. As most people might know, he's a World War I and World War II historian. 1916 was their first Grammy nomination record that was about World War I. And he's a collector in, in uh, I would say, world, well, just war memorabilia in, in general. I remember watching a BBC uh, documentary with him, and he's over here showing me this airplane that uh, Messerschmitt or something. I'm trying to remember what it was. And he's going, that's, that, that, that's wrong. I go, Lem, it's a documentary. He must have researched this shit. Brings out three different books to show me that that plane wasn't even built then. Um, I don't ask anybody else to do it, you know. It's a free country, supposedly. I've often said if the Israeli army had the best uniforms, I'd collect them, but they don't, you know. So there you go, you know, I can't help it. It's, it's ridiculous to think that I could be in this. I'm about as far from it as you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was that? That was great. Really pretty, you have no smell of vision. <laughs> yeah.
Don't matter to me. 